Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can use Lottie to create your own animations in a Swift UI project. So if you look here on the screen you can see I have this little heart icon running in a simulator and this is if you've ever been on Twitter and you hit the like button you know exactly what's going to happen. You click and you get that cool animation. So that's done through something called Lottie which is an animation package that was created by Airbnb and I'm going to show you how to work with that in your own apps. So let's get started. First, you'll want to go to a website called lottiefiles.com. I'll have the link below. And what we're going to search for is the Twitter heart for this example. Now, you can use whatever animation you like, any file, but I'm going to use the Twitter heart for this example. So the one I'm going to use is by Shreya uh, Shakar. So if you click here, you can see the animation speed. You can change this, update it, change colors if you want. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to download. And then you're going to download it as this Lottie JSON. So when you click on that, you'll see it starts to download. And when it's finished, you will have this animation JSON. So next, let's go ahead and open up a new Xcode project. So we'll just call this Lottie Heart. Hit next. Save it on the desktop. And here we go. Here is our blank Xcode project. Now, in order to use Lottie, you're going to have to implement it as a third-party package. So we're going to do that through Swift Package Manager. So come up here to File, go to Swift Packages, Add Package Dependency, and you can search for Lottie. Now, there's going to be a number of Lottie results that come up. The one you want to use is this Lottie iOS from Airbnb. If you hit next, we'll use the up to next major, hit next. And now this is going to add the Lottie package to your app that you're building. Hit finish. And now you can see Lottie's been imported. Next, what we're going to do, we downloaded that Lottie JSON file. So now we're going to take it from our downloads and drag it in to our project. You can just put it right below the P list. Copy items if needed, create groups, and be sure you're adding it to your Lottie Heart target. Hit finish. And to make this a little easier, we're going to rename it so that when we go to call it, we don't have to call that big name. And we'll just call it heart.json. Next, I want you to add a new file. This will be a Swift file. And we're going to call it Lottie Button. Hit create. And what I want you to do is import Swift UI and import Lottie. Now, if we look on the documentation, there's a number of ways that you can implement Lottie. We're going to do it through a Lottie button. And you can't do this directly in Swift UI. This is still built on a UI view, which comes from UIKit. So therefore, we need to use something called UI view representable so we can interact between Swift UI and UIKit. So let's go ahead and create our struct. It'll be Lottie button. And like I mentioned, this will be a UI view representable. Now, if we let this run, it'll say Lottie button doesn't conform to the protocol UI view representable. So that's fine. And we'll hit here, add the protocol stubs. For this one, we're going to use a type alias just of UI view because we'll be returning a UI view. And to actually get the protocol stubs, if you're watching this in the future, maybe it's been fixed, you need a couple methods. You need a make UI view, and you need update UI view. Now, update UI view, we're not going to do anything with. So we'll just delete all this, have that blank. But then let's start filling out the code to actually get this running. So. We're going to give a few properties. We'll have an animation name. That will be the name of our JSON file that we want to run the animation for. 
And then let's do animation button, which is an animated button. Now, if you're wondering where this comes from, this is from uh, Lottie itself. So if we take a look back at Lottie, we can go over. They have a good documentation um, at this website here. I'll be sure to add it in the description. But you can read for the iOS, Mac OS, there is this animated button section that shows you how to implement it. So right here, it's showing very similar to what we're doing, the animated heart for Twitter. And you can use the animated button to have a variety of different ways that you can play animations. So let's go ahead and start setting that up. So within Make UI View, we're going to create a new view. And we'll set its frame to zero. And this is the UI view that we're going to put our animation in. So let's do let animation equals an animation dot named. And this is where we're actually passing in the animation that we want to have. So in our case, it's going to be that heart file that we saw. And animation button animation, make the animation we just created, and then animation button dot content mode. We'll make sure that we're going to do an aspect fit. So when the heart is on our screen, it doesn't look like it's been distorted in any way. So you can see option to scale the content to fit the size of the view. Next, we will look at actually adding the events that will trigger when this button gets run. So we'll do animation button dot set play range. And we're going to use this from marker to marker event. And from marker is going to be touch down start. So when you initially press to actually trigger something, uh, touch down end. So when you've actually lifted your finger off and the event is the UI control event. So we have touch up inside. So a touch up event that actually happens when the fingers inside the bounds of the view. Next, if you haven't worked with UI kit before and specifically layout programmatically, we need to use something called uh, translates auto resizing mass into constraints. We need to set that to false. So you can do TAMIC for short translates auto resizing mass into constraints, set that to false. And now we're going to add this animation button view or to our overall view. So view dot add sub view, our animation button. Now we actually need to lay out how this view is going to look on our screen when we run it. So we are going to do NS layout constraints dot activate, you'll see we'll be passing in an array of NS layout constraints. So we can delete that. And we're going to do animation button dot width anchor dot constraint. And we're going to make this the entire width of the view. Animation button dot height dot constraint equal to view dot height anchor. Next, we'll center it in the X and Y axis. So animation button dot center X anchor dot constraint equal to view dot center X. And finally, dot center Y anchor dot constraint equal to view dot center Y anchor. So if you haven't worked with UI kit before, this is fairly standard way of laying out a view. So you use uh, programmatic constraints and you give it where you want it to be. So in our case, we have four constraints. We're giving it a width, we're giving it a height, and we're going to center it within its parent view, both the X axis, so along the horizontal, and then center Y anchor, so along the vertical. Then the last thing we need to do 
since we are returning a UI view, we're simply going to return our view. So go ahead and save that. And then you can come back in to your content view file. And adding it is very simple. All we're going to do is call Lottie button, pass in our animation name, which is heart. We'll resume our preview. So once this builds and succeeds, we'll run it on here. And when you click the heart, you can see you get your animation playing. So that's it. That's all there is to it. If you liked the video, please leave it a like and consider subscribing. I put out videos each week. So thanks everybody for watching. Catch you in the next one.